Okay, so now we're going to talk about the things specifically we can do on every channel. So remember to get the channel where we hit select. So we'll do everything on our test channel. So we've already covered... Brandon, just for our purposes for the video, yeah. can we move that test channel to this guy? Sure, 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 sure. So we go to setup, control, strip assign, and we can drag that guy over there. Okay. So we're on the preamp screen. This video will cover the preamp screen and what's there. So we've already talked about how to get things on the channel. And remember, we, everything's in input sockets, and we just scroll to whatever we want there. That button isn't particularly useful because we have a more precise way to do that. This is phantom power. Hold it, turn it on. Turned red, hold it, turn it off. Remember, all conditions need those. This is one place for the gain. Remember, the gain is also down here. Now, I will make a note beforehand. Everything we're doing on the screen can be done up here, but I almost never use this because there are no numbers or anything like that. It's just not as precise as I would like it to be. I can go to this screen a lot faster. So if you find yourself that you like these knobs, I know my A2 Allen really likes working from these knobs, but I don't. So I will prefer the screen and you can see more on the screen. So everything we do today will be on the screens. So this is also where we put our pad in. We can hold select and use this to copy parameters, copy and paste or down here at the bottom. So we could hit copy, select, and then copy this over to this channel if there was anything in there. Uh, that's really just that. You just hold the button and hit select. So if we want to copy the trim, you could hit that and copy it somewhere else. This is the polarity switch. When we talk about more advanced topics, We'll talk about what polarity is, but just know it's right there. And we also have trim. Trim won't be used most of the time on microphone channels. It's mainly used on RCA inputs like the video fader. We'll cover that in short order. This is also where we can change the high pass in one place. And we will cover the high pass when we get to the parametric equalizer. But just know this is where we can change the slope of it and things like that. Uh, this is a very important screen, namely for this and for phantom power. Uh, uh, one thing that you covered, you said you could copy something from one channel to another. Yep. <clears throat> sure, let me show that. So, let me just make this a channel. Okay, so if we go here, I want to copy, let's say we have phantom power in there, and a pad, we can hold copy, hit select, go to the new channel, hit paste, and hit select, and it copies all the parameters over there. Okay, so you're not actually copying the channel, you're just copying the way the channel is set up, correct? Correct. And okay. this can be done from anything. If we go to any one of these screens, uh, they all have select buttons and we can copy the parameters from all of them just the same. So if you worked hard to set up something for, say, a body mic that you feel could be useful for all your body mics, you could copy it, over. You could copy it to each channel. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to come back in the next video and talk about the gate. Thank you.